Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take the weights out of your Zippy Cycloid, uh, disassemble it, install a new blade if need to, so that you know a full disassembly, reassembly, reassemble, and then tune it. So to start, we're just going to take the bite marker off. Uh, I'm then gonna lay it flat with the screws facing up at the base of the handle. Uh, take the two millimeter hex key that the Balasong shipped with and just unscrew these. At this point, I'm just gonna take the handle and move it to the side. You don't have to unscrew the top pivots for this portion because of the two-piece Zen block. So super easy to just disassemble it. Unscrew it a tad more. Okay, and then shift it to the side. So now what I'm gonna do is stick the hex key in this little socket and just lever the weights up. You can do that to both weights. Uh, and then this will change the balance from a, a slight handle bias to a slight blade bias. Um, at this point, you would just rotate these back in and screw it in if you're just trying to change the balance. Uh, I'm gonna keep these in because I prefer the balance this way. You just pop them back in. Uh, and then I would reassemble. So I'm gonna change out the blade next and do a full disassembly. So I'm just gonna screw these back in Once I feel a slight resistance and the screws are flush with the handles, I know I'm good to go. Now I'm gonna pick up the balisong, turn it over, and then insert the hex key into the pivot screw and just unscrew both of them. And then lay it flat. You can take the hex nuts, put them to the side. And now I'm just gonna gently lift and rotate these to the side. So at this point, so you can see um, there's a washer here, but not here. It's actually stuck to the inside of the handle. So there should be a washer on both of these, but it, it could be underneath. At this point, I'm just gonna lift off the blade and then dump everything out so uh, it's empty. And I've got a replacement blade here that I'm gonna put on that has the Z logo. Uh, and this is pretty much the most you'll ever need to disassemble it. Um, if you did need to clean your bearings, you could dump one of these handles out uh, and then clean them that way. Just uh, put the bearings and the race washers in some Tupperware with some isopropyl alcohol, give it a good shake, uh, and then let them dry. Um, but just to show you how the, it does reassemble, the bearing has two sides. Um, the cage side and then the smooth side. So the smooth side always needs to be facing the blade. So on this bottom handle with the pivot, you're gonna put the open cage side down so the smooth side is facing up. And then you're gonna take that same race washer uh, and then put it, and put it face down. What I do want to highlight is that there are actually uh, two different Diameters of race washer. There's going to be uh, race washers that seemingly have a very flat top like this one here, and ones that have a, a rounder top on the inner portion like that one. So if you try and put these round ones into the blade, they won't fit, whereas the flat ones do fit. So I'll just show you as an example. So the flat top ones should just snap right into the blade and the round ones are too big and they won't fit. So that's how you know you've got the wrong one. So make sure that you're using the, fl the flat top ones have to be touching the blade. So this is a round top one. I'm gonna set that aside. That goes in the handle. Um, and then I have a 
flat top one here. That is gonna be touching the blade, so we'll put that on top. And then I'll put the blade on. I've got one flat and one round top left to install. This is clearly the flat one, and then that's the round top one. This one will fit in the blade, so I'll throw it right there. And now I'm gonna install the bearings. Remember, the smooth side has to be facing the blade. So I'm gonna put this smooth side down, and this smooth side down. At this point, if you did clean your bearings and you need to re-lubricate, um, you would add a little bit of lube just in the cage. You don't need to lube the race washer or the smooth side. You would do the open cage side, and you would do that for all four bearings if you needed to re-lube. My bearings are already lubed, so I'm not going to do it. And at this point, I'm just going to install my last washer, and let me see if I can pop out... Uh, the one that's already installed here in the handle, just to give you guys an example of what a full assembly is supposed to look like. All right, I popped it out. So these are my last two race washers. And I'm just gonna put them races facing down. The races always have to face the bearing side. So I'll just pop those right on. And then I'm gonna rotate the handles back. Uh, it should just fit right on. At this point, I'm gonna take the two hex nuts and just place them on the screws and I'll gently push down and lift up the balisong and I'll screw them. And I like to go lefty-loosey first just to line up the threads. Lefty-loosey, catch the threads, and then now I'll go righty-tighty. And I'll just, it's just a loose, loose fit. We'll tighten them later when we tune it. Same thing, lefty-loosey, catch the threads, and then righty-tighty. Make sure that the uh, hex nuts are lined up with the hex hole in the handle, and I'll just tighten them. And at this point, we can, we can tighten them a lot more until we feel a light resistance. Um, and I'll just throw on the bite marker again. And this just snaps right on. You can feel the, the ridges grip the jimping, and I've got clearance with the blade, so we're good to go. All right, at this point, we're gonna tune it. So I'll just make sure it's nice and tight, light resistance. And what I like to do now is face the hex nuts down on the table and just press to make sure everything is seated nice and tight. Uh, and now I'll do the tuning and the handle swing test. So you can see that this handle is binding, so I need to loosen it. I like to loosen about eighth of a turn at a time. I'll loosen. Press the hex nuts in and redo the test. And I need, I keep, need to loosen again, another eighth of a turn. Press the hex nuts in the table and then retest. Getting better, still a little tight, so I'll do it one more time. All right, that looks good. Uh, and at this point, I'll just test to make sure that the handles aren't loose. So. A pivot play test should be done here, right about a finger length below the pivots, um, and there should be no play that you can feel. Keep in mind that there'll, there will still be play in the handles done here, and that's just due to the flex of the plastic, but we're only testing for pivot play here, so that feels nice and tight. I don't feel any wobble, and I have a smooth handle swing. Actually, I'll, I'll loosen it a bit more. Another eighth of a turn, press. A little bit more. You can adjust the handle swing to whatever you want. Like if you want a more bushing feel, you can keep it a little tight. I like to keep it nice and smooth, unimpeded. That's uh, pretty good. All right, we're golden. And I'll just do it my play test and it's rock solid, so. Let's go to the other handle now. So that is a, a little too tight, so I'll just loosen it, eighth of a turn, press the hex nuts into the table. And that is a good, good
good smooth swing. And now I'll just do my one last play test. I don't feel any pivot play. Again, there is going to be handle play just because of the flex of the plastic, but at the pivots, there shouldn't be any play. That feels good, so you're tuned, ready to roll. So you just learned how to uh, change the weights, disassemble, change out the blade, lubricate the bearings, reassemble if you need to, uh, and then tune your zippy cycloid. Thanks for watching.